I'm quite frequently nagged to do a video on 133 I-33's wards. So I'm going to go through my understanding of them, and it may differ to yours. I don't care. This works for me. This, I think, is a reasoned approach. If you don't like it, I'll happily debate it. It's a very, very simple approach, but I think it covers everything it should need to. Now, the important thing is, is that these wards are meant to be representative of everybody in fencing. Everybody who fences with sword and buckler will fight from these seven positions or any division thereof. And that's a really big sweeping statement to make. And we have to validate that somehow or the system becomes flawed and it means that it's lying to us. We don't want this to be the case. So, first of all, I'll show you the wards. We have first underneath the arm, second to the right shoulder, third to the left, fourth, fourth, fourth to the head, fifth, down like so, sixth to the breast, seventh, long point, long point, long point. Okay, notice there's several different types of long point, and then of course there's the other long point. Okay, so there are problems with this, and the problems are saying that everybody fights from these seven positions. You see this a lot. Why isn't this mentioned? And ultimately it's because it is. It's because 133 is giving you a set of geometry. And this geometry is basically saying that here, if I strike from underneath my arm, I'm limited in what I can do. I can do this, I can come around and strike, I can do a false edge strike, I can thrust like so. But I am limited by this position. From here, I am likely to strike in a number of ways. And I'm limited by that position. And if I wish to cut vertically, I'll tend to come into this position in order to do so, because cutting vertically from here gives me this and it's shit. Okay? Same thing from here. If I'm on the left shoulder, I'm more likely to cut an angle or to whip like so. If I want to come vertically, I'll come back to one of the three fourth positions that I showed you. All the fourth positions are more likely to cut vertically. And even if they cut at an angle, they can still be counted as a vertical shot. Now, this brings us on to these positions, things which you see quite often, but apparently aren't shown in one through three, or indeed thrusts from this side. So anything where I'm doing this. And this is simply, simply, very, very simply indeed, represented by this, because any withdrawn thrust, no matter which side of the body it's on, if the point is towards you, can be dealt with in much the same way as sit forward, very, very simply, okay? So all that 133 is trying to do when it says that all men, no matter whether they're ignorant or whether they know the art of fencing, they will fight using geometry and they cannot avoid that geometry, that the sword will either be to one side or in some way forward. And if it's not fully extended into long point, is partially withdrawn, somewhere along the line it stops being one, it becomes the other. So you can recognise it simply in that way. And this leads me to another of my little bugbears. If you admit and if you recognise that 133 is dealing with geometry, you can dismiss an awful lot of these bullshit arguments about, oh, well, I notice that you have your hand slightly too low in first ward, therefore it is indeed not first ward, and actually now you're being a bit of a wanker. I can understand that 133 is possibly showing you the most precise and the way that it thinks the ward should be held most effectively, but it still does not change that it's dealing with a geometry. That if you're attacking somebody who's holding the sword here, you're very likely to be attacking them in the same way as somebody is here, because they're still beneath the arm. If they are here, and they are here, you're still probably going to attack them in the same way, because they are still on the right shoulder and they still have the same potentials. If you recognise this, you can eliminate a lot of the stuff which will distract you from looking at the geometry and you'll be able to fight more efficiently. I hope this is helpful. Take care.